Hello and welcome for gamers. My name is Borek and this is another episode of Imperian Galactic Survival Project Eden Scenario Dead Gameplay. So we're back to this godforsaken planet. Being alone on a planet is not that great, but yeah. <laughs> I'm not getting bored over here trying to survive. Right, so in the previous episode we went like over there trying to find some oxygen and, and other stuff. We visited um, our neighbors right over there. So I followed my trail trying to find some junk or whatever. Uh, I found one junk item, so I've collected quite a lot of bits, bits and pieces. And actually I even found one uh, pentaxite uh, a crystal that was somewhere over there. So that was kind of cool and I followed because there was a mount mountain over there. You can see the pentaxite over there, pentaxite crystal. So I followed the mountain and then I've noticed the wrecked small vessel, which... <coughs> Sorry, it's absolutely awesome and fantastic find because I could rebuild it. I have already found, I have already found a um, core that was right here on top, which I have destroyed. But I did not want it to put the core without you because I ha do have three cores and it's going to be much much easier for us to see what is it all about, how cool that ship is. So let's give it a go. <clears throat> Let's turn off everything I can. Ah, finally. Let's get some oxygen out of this beauty. And let's see if... I don't know why I can't. Is it too small? Sometimes from some of those things I cannot pick up oxygen or fuel. Last time... Yeah, that worked, so that's good. Maybe there's too low oxygen in here. I have absolutely no idea. What's the temperature? You know what? Let's go over there. Outside. I'm going to place the heater so I don't die out of cold. And that way we are able to access a ship's menu anyway. So the, that uh, ship does is missing generator and cockpit. Um, in statistics... Holy shit, that's going to be... Oh, hardened steel blocks. There's 3,000 hardened steel blocks? No, I don't think I'm going to be flying that beauty. Uh, most probably we don't have too much of an engine. So let's go into here. So we have two ammo boxes. Nice biofuel projectile rounds. That's good. Okay, sorry. Wrong button. Then sniper rifle ammunition. I'm going to take that. I wonder... There's 11... Uh, cargo boxes, so iron ingot, thank you, I will take it, let's see what's inside, what's in all of them, and then if we are running low on space, then we will be switching a few things, silicon ore, <coughs> switching a few things with another, how's my oxygen and food, not that bad, uh, promethium, copper, and neodymium, see, I'm already running low on space, I could drink some of those or inhale some of those uh, what could carbon substrate I don't think natural stimulant I'm not interested in at all but those two maybe yes okay cargo box another one here's six here's seven uh, stone dust no that a restroom and satium I found a few of those okay Let's go with fridges because there are quite a lot of fridges over here. Unfortunately, they all seem to be empty. And I think that's it basically for the devices that we are of an interest. We have mobile constructor on this baby and we have some thrusters. There are those fuel tanks. Most definitely I should take some of those things because that they can help me you know what maybe not spotlight weapon what kind of a weapon that is rocket launcher homing oh this is really nice because i don't want to spend too much time over here um trying to you know get this baby up and going because we have other things to do we need to modify we need to modify our base so let me just hold, hop on a bike i'm gonna leave that wrecked yeah it's gonna be marked I'm gonna leave the core over here. I hope it's not gonna be destroyed by anything because I need to go back home uh, since my radiation is going really, really high and that worries me a lot and I don't want to get any radiation burns whatsoever. So let's head back home and uh, do some things over there. I plant... Uh, because you guys told me to use um, water generator 
unlike uh, can be placed on the snow. So we have shitloads of wood on those things. Now I start to be worried a bit. Um, those glowing thingies. Let's go and have a look. So you guys told me that I can use water generator on snow and since there's shitloads of snow around here I don't think I will have to go to the mountain to do anything. I'm really scared. And, but there's so much pentaxite. What are those? Would they attack me? What's this? See, that's the pentax sign, so that's good. Oh, there's lava over there. And the temperature actually increased over here. This is really nice to set up a base so you don't, don't die out of uh, um, cold. Which is great. But I think these are like geysers that eventually might kill you. Volcanic activity and seismic activity might happen over here. You know what is the most scary thing in this scenario for me? Constant Geiger meter. You cannot hear anything except for that Geiger meter. That's really scary. And there is no life, no trees, well, dead trees. There is no life whatsoever, no aliens, no nothing. And me on my motorbike. <laughs> I should make myself hover vessel at least to travel greater distances with higher speed. I should think about that. Okay, so I'm gonna be going back home and then we'll take it from there. Maybe on the way I will find some tanks as well. So stay tuned, be right back. Okay, so on the way back I found this junk over here. I've collected some stuff, but also there's another supply cache over there and the Hongo that I have marked probably a place that I would like to visit. Uh, but maybe not just yet, because my radiation level is going way, way, way too high. There's quite a lot of stuff right next to... Oh shit. It's getting too cold for me. Just go upstairs up here and have a look. Yeah, most definitely we have to return to this location because there's some oxygen going on. You know what? I can't resist. I simply can't resist. Let's go and have a look if we can get <sighs> something. Some oxygen, three bottles of oxygen. That's good. Oh, and even more. Oh, that's fantastic. I wonder if that's large O2 tank and the... Oh shit, radiation burn. God damn it. I don't know if I have decontamination kit. Hmm, that is really a shame. But let's not worry about that just yet. There's gonna be something over there, hydrogen bottle, some em emergency. Okay, radiation burn. Shit. Okay, at least we got some oxygen, so that's good. We will return to this location, but first of all, let me just go back home and see if I can use the contamination, if I have the contamination kit and what it will do because as you can see uh, my health is already dropping. It was 411, now it's 406 and there's another Hongo uh, POI. That's really cool. That's really cool. Good places to... Yeah. And there's another one. Okay, good. There's one, there's something. I think this is actually the facility where we've started. And there's another O2 tank. Fantastic. I'm, I'm really glad. Yeah, most definitely we have to return to this location. Another supply cache. Yeah, most definitely we will be going back in here. Looting all those places. Right, 1.5 kilometers away from home. So let's head back there and do some modification at the base. Okay, so I'm back at the base, still being radiated. I've ate something to reduce the amount, um, to reduce the hunger. 
and yeah you guys told me that most probably those things will leak air and most probably that's why i have radiation going on um in my building still so i will retrieve that block and change it because some of you told me that well glass doors and uh, that's this so let's place like normal centered automatic vent i'm just gonna go with normal doors and that's it Okay, but which way, which way I should be facing those? That way? Maybe? Nope. Well, actually, you were right, guys. Thanks. Look at that. And the temperature does increase over here because I had an increase of temperature up there. Yeah, nice. Really cool. Okay, I like it. Let's recover stamina. Unfortunately... What's that? Detox kit. Uh, fever, organ failure, food poisoning. No, that's the contamination, I think. They were mentioning 80 radiant. Let's go over here because we should have stats over there. Use anti radiation ointment or the contamination kit. Radiation ointment. Okay. <sighs> Open wound. For open wounds, we apply bandages. <gasps> but at least I'm not radiated anymore. My, why my radiation level is 1? Okay, it's 0. Okay, good, good. Not that bad. So, we have a very hot, nice temperature in here. I don't like that wall. I need to change it. Because, oh, and that one is disgusting as well. Right, and also I've made myself what's the oxygen not that great i've made myself water generator and since that all is snow i reckon it actually might work let's find out it will generate something okay so i'm gonna be putting bigger items in here <coughs> so i presume that we will be generating uh, water really really soon so next product in three minutes um almost three minutes so we can go over here and inhale something that we have No to tanks? No? Nothing? Zero? Nada? Okay, we got some oxygen. And that doesn't last for long. I had I have my oxygen turned off over here because I don't know if there are any ventilators. And uh, most of the stuff is basically, as you can see, will leak air. Mm, you know what? Let me just pick this one up. And we're gonna move it. We're gonna move it back to the place where we are actually staying. Um, so oxygen level is 75 Man, this jacket flag is Killing me. Honestly, it's killing me. I'm gonna pick this one up and put my O2 station over here uh, What's that tech support? Is that O2 station? Yes, it is So let's place it right over here. There's unfortunately only one type Which one is front? This one? No I don't think so, it's now it's on the side, but it really doesn't matter. Um, so, as you saw, 75% of oxygen in the tank, and as I inhaled 250, it dropped by 20%, so that is quite a lot. There's not too much oxygen in that tank, but let's hope that I will generate some water with this, and with that water we will be able to make more and more oxygen. Not to mention that we need to think about making ourselves making ourselves some food sprouts because we have we have some possibilities mushrooms mushrooms let me ch just check mushrooms we I found a few mushrooms over there out there so we could have delicious delicate sprout will grow on terrain you need highly fertile glow plot what can we do with mushrooms probably not much they don't think they can yield anything else than mushrooms basically mushrooms crushed stone prometheum pallets what's that consumable perish health food minus 50 no thanks confetti moss scrappings mushrooms Prometheum pallets, stamina. That all just gives me stamina. Those things that require mushroom. That sucks. And the mushrooms 
cannot yield any any what do you call it vegetables to be fair okay at least we have sorted things with temperature in here thank you guys for letting me know that so now what i need to do is just go back over there and gather some foods and do not leave it in the containers over there so let me just do that and i will just right back with you ah what a success look at that i've just returned from the other location picking up some stuff well basically i found two pizza over there nothing special but we do have container water container so that opens a hell lot of new possibilities to us because now oxygen is not a problem well eventually it will become a problem since energy not so much i mean promethium i haven't found too many of those things so that really really sucks uh should i start making any ammunition nitro cellulose i think i could start doing that uh but before we do let me just check where is that oxygen because i need to one water container one steel plate and it will give us o2 bottle and with o2 bottle i have already four over there we've put them already can i make like those small ones portable you know what but then we could make this out of plant fiber and plant fiber requires wooden logs so if i have wooden logs and i can cut down trees it's not gonna be that big of a deal you know okay let me just make a machete because that will be very very useful I really don't feel secured without any gun whatsoever, but we'll have to unlock it. But before we start unlocking anything, I guess I will have to... I will have to get some levels and levels... Oh, shit. Levels, most probably, I will have to... Let's pick this one up. Oh, there's something... Oh, I've got stuff. I've left it all over here. Uh, most probably, I will just have to... Uh, build something and what would I build most probably hover vessel that looks kit. so yeah that's something that we'll be looking for in the future okay and right now let me just find that container I think we'll just go to uh, back to the hodo over there H hongo hongo yeah yeah, yeah. not hodor <laughs> We're not going to be holding doors, no. Um, right, so let me just leave some stuff and then I'll see you guys right over there at Hongo. Okay, so I'm right back at the cryo facility and over there I have one tank, second one, and there's a third one. Uh, places where I could get quite a lot of, um, quite a lot of oxygen, but since oxygen is not a big of a deal, Still, you know, I'm greedy little bastard. So I'm gonna get as much as possible. Right, I need to heat up before we continue going to Hongo. But yeah, staying over here. I think this is the Haven <gasps> module where we were in. Yeah, Haven rescue module. And one of you guys told me that this is public and I can turn it into private so I could actually stay over there. Uh, but I think we're better off at the facility, at the ruins that we live right now. But this place, you know, you know, spend your time wisely uh, before leaving the cryo facility because you can get quite a lot of stuff near here. There's so many POIs around this facility, like alien caches and destroyed, destroyed uh, engine compartments and so on and so on. So yeah, and my advice to you: stay here as long as possible and don't worry about uh, the cold and and the radiation, uh, radiation burn. You will deal with it. Uh, relatively easy. God damn it, but the amount of mountains I need to make myself over us, definitely. If we are to uh, travel to longer, uh, to further um, places, because I don't know if I will actually, maybe actually I will be able to gather enough stuff to uh, build myself a small vehicle to escape the planet. Right, so let's see what do we have. In this, we have solar panel. They are nicely placed. I really like it. And the silence. Nothing else but the silence. Okay, so we have some oxygen. 
which is built up, oxygen tank. Over here there's an entrance of some sort. Let's try and grab something. That might be still too too low because the, the, the tank is not that big. And yeah, we don't have any radiation in here whatsoever. There's a ventilator. I wonder if there's gonna be yeah? You can turn it, yeah, it's public, so we can turn it into private, and it's going to be yours. Um, does it miss anything? Well, it does have solar power. What? Player spawn a thin plate, so you can spawn in here once you die, and I think this is the plate. Um, okay, let's see what we have. Oh, look at that. Look at that hot beverage. I will drink that just because. Just because. So this is really good. Another uh, good PO POI that you can turn into, into a base. As you can see, it is radiation free, so it does not have any leaks whatsoever. So if you will manage to place mm, uh, energy fuel tank and generator you would be ready to go in that location as well i really do encourage you to stay in the, in, in those locations if you won't be able to find if you won't be able to find um the ruins such as such as i have found earlier so yeah that's really good that's really good and i do start to wonder if maybe we should start building. Let's just go inside because that radiation noise does start to work on my nerves. It's really starting to piss me, starts to piss me off. Okay, it's gonna be nice and cold <laughs> in here, unfortunately. But if we just take one block out, I wonder if the radiation will, will kick in. Of course it will, uh, because why not? because ground is radiated for some reason but if I will place the heater like over in here will that affect me? unfortunately not but let's stay in here for just a few seconds to increase the temperature and then we will assess what do we have um, in, terms of, in terms of making small small vessel I won't be able to make RCS what level am I? four and i need like 1.5 thousand 1.5 thousand points small generator no small vessel generator we'll need generator we'll need we can use small fuel tank we don't need auto station we could use like container controller gatling gun i don't think so we just need something to move like cockpit thrusters do we have any thrusters available? No, <laughs> at level 5. Shoot. So we'll have to start building that beauty that we're going to be flying. <coughs> or maybe start off with hover vessel, but I don't want to waste any materials whatsoever. We shall see how it's going to go. I could, like, you know, build ground repair solar engine and that will be enough just to move this baby. Well, we shall see. I will think about it. But yeah, for now, I think we're going to slowly wrap up this episode. I need to go back home uh, where there's food, there's maybe not a lot of food, but there's food, there's oxygen, there's bath, and I can get rid of the radiation. Uh, I don't think there's going to be too much uh, of an interest to me in those caches. I think I can gather um, quite a lot of resources on my own in the locations that I have found by destroying simply by destroying um, simply by destroying the the, the the components that there are um, I will Steve I will still check this junk so I don't remember looting it but some of those are already looted yeah so that's gonna be it for today's episode guys and girls I hope you enjoyed it if you did remember to leave a like comment about the gameplay subscribe to the channel if you new and you like what you see and I hope that we'll see each other in the next episode when we'll continue our awesome adventure with this awesome game and we will be most definitely building something. I don't know yet what, but we'll be building something. So till then, take it easy, have fun, and happy gaming. Bye bye. I wonder if I can destroy it. Yeah, I should. Yeah. Okay, let me just get some stuff out of here. Food! Food is good! <laughs>